Welcome back. I am Mislin. This is The Raven Part 3, which just released today. This is it. If you've forgotten what happened in the last month since Part 2 was released, super, super quick summary. So we were in the museum. There was a robbery, of course, right? We discovered that the butler did it because... He's the butler, and that's what butlers do. They are master criminals. We then went back in time. Oh, we saw our hero presumably get shot. Somebody got shot. There was a gunshot. The screen went black. Our main man might be dead. Who, who knows? Who knows? We then went back in time to play as the younger thief, the accomplice to the raven. Who the tongue is, is the raven, you know, the butler. We went back to the train to play through that. And we ended last game showing up on the cruise ship again. Where our young thief just ran to the room of the woman that was in the car. I forget her name. And apparently they are lovers or something like that. And it just cut us off. And that's what we know. So here we are, at least today, part three of The Raven, this one called A Murder of Ravens. Let's get to it. If you're stuck, try talking to all characters. There she is. And there's our young thief. He bothers me. He's shown what he's capable of. What if he finds out about our plan? How would he? We're careful. He's more ruthless than we expected. The bomb on the train. I don't want to think about it. We need to make sure that we stay calm. You mean that I stay calm? I'm not worried about you. I know you. But still, stay calm, girl. Stay calm. Um, let's see. Let's talk about the plan. Shall we go over the plan one more time? Good idea. I would love to hear the plan. Hid the first eye in the Baroness's luggage. I'll break into her cabin and replace the eye with a fake. Right. We'll steal the second eye in Cairo. And Inch will be caught in the act. <laughs> it's simple. The devil is in the detail. I have to get into the Baroness's cabin undetected, then find the secret hiding place, and I can't leave any evidence behind. Yes. And Inch said something about a combination. So the hiding place might be locked. One step at a time. I think I'll assess the situation first. And I think I'll make myself comfortable for a little while. So this is how married life will be. Works for me. So she's a thief too. Uh-oh. We have a whole crew of thieves. Whole crew of thieves. Everything went according to plan in London? Except for the explosion, yes. The Bobby was right on time because he had a good tip-off. I had enough time to take the eye, but unfortunately there was no time to replace it with the fake. Where is it? A work of art, almost as beautiful as the original. I can't tell the difference. Inch could, but if all goes to plan, he won't have a chance to take a closer look at the jewel until after the burglary at the Egyptian Museum. So there's a fake one too? What craziness is this? Let's talk about Legrand. Legrand cause any trouble. Probably. Everything's still going according to plan. That means he's clever, but not clever enough. And the Bobby? Peasant's cunning, nothing more. He won't be able to solve the puzzle on his own. There's still Inch. He doesn't suspect anything. We laid the foundation well. I've been his assistant for months already. He doesn't trust me, but he thinks he can play me for a sucker. That's enough. Sound like a good plan to me. Speaking of Inch, I saw him talking to you in Venice. What was it about? He was angry because his attack on the train failed and because I lost my ticket. How did you get on the ship? As a stowaway, locked in a cold, dark cargo hold. Poor boy. I'll go out now and lead the police and master thieves around by the nose. I can think of something else to do. I can't. Harsh, man. Harsh. That's okay, this is a family game. 
I got time for no shenanigans. So we have a fake jewel. I have no idea where Inch had the fake jewel made, but it's amazing. Even someone with as much experience as I have has to look twice before realizing it's a fake. What's your background? How do you have experience? I'm a little confused. So we're just going to scope out the land, right? Let's look at this. Let's go look at the Baroness's cabin, since apparently we're going to break in there and replace something. I was not expecting to play as her, but hey, this will work. I'm sure I could help you if... Stand aside! If you told me what you're looking for, were you just getting in my way? Now get out! I'll wait at the door, madam. Yes, yes! Oh! Miss... Mayors? Can I help you? No, I'm just having a look around the ship. Good day. Also, Inch doesn't know her. Oh. Very interesting. It's close. Very interesting. What did you just make a note about? What did you just write down? I have no idea which of these you may have just... These are all our other notes. What else we got? Stolen right. I'm trying to see what she may have added. Stowaway, gunshot, murder, unconscious. These all look like old things from the last two games. Okay. So these are things... Oh, wow, we're getting different people's pages. That's interesting. So these are all from our young thief. And this is a young thief about her. And this is Alex talking about a deal. Okay. What I like about him isn't his good looks. And not that he's a skilled thief. That he's clever... That he's clever or that he loves me. It's his character. He has many reasons to be cynical or bitter, but he's not. He enjoys life. He sees the positive in all people in every situation. He's humble and can find joy in small things. I never thought about children until I met him. He'd be a fantastic father. He'd teach our children to have a positive outlook on life, not to let circumstances grind them down. He'd give them everything they need to live satisfying lives. Interesting. Plan is simple. In London, I'll swap the stolen eye of the Sphinx for a fake. Inch might take a quick, quick look at the stone, but he won't have a chance to check it thoroughly and hopefully won't notice anything amiss. We'll grab the second gem in Cairo. Inch will think that he's got everything under control. By the time he catches on, we'll be long gone. Patricia Myers. Some of my favorite characters. A pretty daughter from a good family. No one expects or suspects anything of her. It's only one problem. People who think Patricia is dumb even though they don't know her. Sometimes annoy me so much that I can't help myself. A dumb, spoiled blonde who's always ready with a clever retort. Not the best cover. I need to work on that. Oh, interesting. Interesting. Okay. So she's playing the dumb blonde, which is fine. Let's... Yeah, they took us out here, so let's walk around. Let's go upstairs. I don't remember what's upstairs. I don't remember anything being upstairs except the captain's cabin. And this is where we heard the gunshots earlier, I believe. Or we found a deal, maybe. Anything in here we can see? Examine this door. Two handsome sailors are standing at the table and studying a marine map. Good thing they're busy. I can have a look around without being disturbed. We're gonna go in there? If some and if that oh. doesn't work... I'll just turn on the charm. Sorry, I mean to skip that. So I guess I gotta wait for them to leave. Examine this flag. Because it's there. That's why. No idea what kind of flag this is. But the pole it's attached to could be very useful one day. It's about 80 centimeters long and looks quite stable. So you're going to take it? I 
Yes, it's sturdy, but it's also too cumbersome to carry around. Okay, that's about to wonder. You're just gonna walk around with a pole. Alright. Tell me about this mm, shaft. A classic. The thief enters through the ventilation shaft. Can it really be that easy? No, it can't. The cover is screwed shut. Oh, come on. There's a whole, like, downstairs of stuff. Use the pole with. Use the. Break the cover open. No, there's no gap to put the pole in. I can't force the cover open. And I don't remember it being broken when we came here before anyway, right? It was just that the um, fan wasn't turning. Which is why it was suspicious. Anything else going on up here? Nope. Let's go downstairs. Let's go down to where the... Where, yeah, in here. The cargo hold. That's what we call it. Salmon the shuffleboard court. Why not? Let's check it out. I can't imagine what it could possibly say except for it's a shuffleboard court. Bull, curling, shuffleboard. All the same to me. I'm not interested in any of that now. Fair enough. Let's go down to the cargo hold. The entrance to the cargo hold. What? Not really my concern. I bet they've got a screwdriver. Huh? You could get a screwdriver and then open that grate. Come on now. Help me out. Help me out. Okay, that's not where she needs to be. That's where a deal needs to be later. He was the one we found in that area, right? So let's go. Do I even want to talk to Inch? I and mean, this could be... Inch is intelligent and ruthless. A dangerous combination. He's not a brilliant planner, but he is smart and careful. He senses danger. I'm afraid he might suspect that something is wrong. So we shouldn't talk to him. Okay. I was about to say, it's pretty bold. Go talk to the man you're going to rip off. Bravo! Bravissimo! Fantastico! Ha-ha! Would it be okay for you if I get some fresh air up on deck? Of course, my dear. Give my regards to the sea. They're old friends. Go after her. Come on now, she just looked at you. There you go. Don't saunter, just walk. It's okay. It is okay. So what we got? Anything I can click on? The salad tongs that we took with the constable Wooden two games ago. Just oh. Enough to carry around unseen. These are not the same as salad tongs. So we're gonna steal some salad tongs. Let's look at these two guys. I'm not an expert. But I think that Mr. Kreutzer really is a very skilled violinist. At least, I liked it. And the captain was certainly smitten. Let's not talk to them. Let's talk to Agatha. A wonderful concert, wasn't it? Oh, she's got to do the voices. I wouldn't have expected you to be a connoisseur of classical music. Because I'm American? Because you're young and friendly, and radiant. Someone like you doesn't have to know a lot to get along well in life. She should you the point, isn't it? Oh my goodness. Um... I don't think you can be... I'm going to suspect you can't actually be caught in this game, right? Like, we can't say the wrong thing, right? Because we start challenging her prejudices and claiming that we're acting? I don't know. I'm not sure what that's about. Like, she might dis suspect that we're not who we say we are. But I don't think that's going to be a problem in this game. So we're probably going to run through all is these choices. Is this first trip on the Lydia? That's quite enough. Life is too short for conversations like this. I do wish that rather delightful Swiss policeman had come along. I heard you had an interesting trip on the train. It was thrilling. I'm hoping for an encore. Perhaps in Cairo... You know, 
I'm not planning on throwing myself at a man. I'm glad to hear it. You have to work. Earn your own money. Oh, I will! My grades are excellent, and I really want to study acting in New York. None of my books has ever been made into a good film. The stories were twisted, shortened, and simplified so that even the dimmest fellow could follow them. I want to do theater and travel. I speak three languages. That would be three more than most people your age can speak. Do what you have to do, but stay away from bad men. How did men get brought up? Did I forget something in the last 60 seconds? Mr. Kreutzer possesses impressive technique, don't you think? He certainly does. His numerous playmates in Austria can tell you more about it than I. You mean, Mr. Kreutzer is a womanizer? I'm not talking about cheap skirts. I'm talking about expensive clothes. A man like him needs funds to support his lifestyle. Just go over to him, my dear. Tell the maestro that your family is wealthy. You have everything he's looking for. Money and a pretty face. Hold your tongue. Mr. Kreutzer, Lady Westmacott, please. Or did you have your eye on me, Mr. Kreutzer? Old, yes, but rich. Jezebel. Agatha is Mr. mouthy. Kreutzer, oh my goodness. My Hey, this is a piece of work. She was nice in the last two games. What in the world? That's better. Freeloader. How, what? How do you know these things? You and Mr. Kreutzer. You seem to know each other. Not really, but I know his type. Parasites who cling to the rich and famous and suck them dry. The young, misunderstood painter. The innovative writer who writes books that no one wants to read. The musical talent that has to be supported. The ladies and gentlemen of high society let the others use them and call themselves patrons. Another word for fool. Didn't you finance archaeological excavations in the Near East and Egypt? For my husband, and I was there myself. I catalogued items for him, and I didn't show him off like a trophy at cocktail parties. But my son was one of them, the worst kind. The kind that sucks not only the money, but also the life right out of a person. May I take my leave? You may. You need to bring Agatha a drink. I think if Agatha had a good shot of bourbon, she'd be alright. <laughs> 